Spellbound Hanover stakes winner of nearly a million dollars. So there's our pedigree profiles there at the post and heading toward the start for race two. Off stride is Keystone India. And they're off, and Wild Honey is first away for Yannick Gingraff for the early lead. Barbara Brooks, her stable mate, is right there on the inside, a comfortable second. Northern Obsession is trotting up in third, and Spice Girl backs off a bit for Corey Callahan. She's looking to settle fourth on the inside. Keystone India caught back trotting, then broke again briefly and caught back trotting once again. She is the trailer, and she's probably about 15 lengths from the early lead. And the early leader is Wild Honey, the Cantab Hall, $35,000 Lexington select yearling for Yannick Jingra, who's traveling comfortably for Team Tactor in front, a length and a half and 31 and 3, very soft opening quarter. Her stable mate, Barbara Brooks, is right there racing in second, another Cantab Hall filly. Low going head in front. She's not the biggest, but she trots very nice, and she's just sitting there in the two holes. They head down the back stretch. Ray Schnitker is third with Northern Obsession, the Conway Hall homebred, and these three are nose to tail as they head toward the half mile split. About two and a half lengths further back to the Yankee Glide, 90,000 hour Lexington select yearling Spice Girl, and then trying to get back into it, Keystone India the $50,000 Yankee Glide Harrisburg by. So they reach the half in 102 and 1 and start to string out a bit as they move on to the far turn. And Wild Honey has gotten every call so far. And Wild Honey's looking pretty good on the lead for Yannick Jingra, who shows her the whip just to keep her mind on business. And she's two lengths in front of stable mate Barbara Brooks, who looks to hang with her in the second spot, also showing the whip there. Northern Obsession is a length and a half further back in third, so no change in position as they trot through the three-quarter marker in 131 and 2. So that was a 29 and 1 third quarter on the turn. And they come to the top of the stretch, and Wild Honey is looking to take them all the way. And Wild Honey is going well with a two and a half length margin. Barbara Brooks, yet to tip from the pylons, is racing in second, now starting to edge out, but with some work to do on her stable mate, a rail ride all the way for Northern Obsession, who's third. But it is Wild Honey trotting clear for Yannick Jingra. So he and Tack to go two for two in the first two races. And Wild Honey home in 159 and four. Barbara Brooks was second. Northern Obsession third, Spice Girl fourth, and Keystone India finished fifth.